Hi guys, good morning. Uh, welcome to the Variety. Guys, we are discussing Spring Boot, right? Spring Boot videos. Because Spring Boot last class we discussed the first application, right? So MVC Spring Boot MVC example one. So we are running the last class first application, right? Guys, for the first application test controller we created. In the test controller, uh, just we are making the one controller class. How many request handler methods? We are making like two request handler methods. One is the greet method, good morning Ratan sir, like then like, comment, subscribe and the info is there, right? Yeah, I told you that MVC request handler method return type, this is the request handler method, right? The request handler method return type is by default view name, but if you don't want view name, uh, just we can need to go for the normal text response. Uh, to return that normal text response, at the rate response body annotation we have to use. Guys, if you are watching previous video, you can get the clarity about these points, right? Fine. Guys, today, like this video, uh, we are going to create the jar file for the project and we are running the jar file from the command prompt. Guys, running the jar file from what? Command prompt, right? Exactly. Guys, how to create the jar file means once the project is done. Guys, can you please uh, build the project, guys? Right click on the project. Okay, this is my Spring Boot MVC example one. See, guys, as of now, in the target folder, can you see any data here? Guys, in the target folder, can you see any data here? No, right? So you are not seeing any data here. You got the point, right? You are not seeing any data. But once if your build is completed, here you will get the target data, guys. You will get the target data. So for that, right click on the project, run as, uh, run as, click on Maven install. Guys, click on what? Maven install. If you go for the clap, click on Maven install, it will clean the previous data, generate the resources. That's why better to go for the Maven install. Click on this Maven install, guys. Once if you click on Maven install, uh, check this console once, you will get the screen like this. This is like Maven test is running. Maven test Spring Boot application started here. And uh, result. So downloading some plugin from internet. <coughs> After build success. Guys, can you see the build success, right? Yeah, guys. Once if you can see the build success, yeah. Once you can see what build success, right? Yeah, guys. Once the build success, now open the target folder. Guys, can you see the target folder? No, no, no. Right click and refresh the file once. Click on the refresh. Once if you click on the refresh, you can get the target folder. Guys, you can get the. These are the jar file, guys. Spring Boot MVC example one, iPhone 0 0.0.1 jar, right? Guys, 0 0.0.1 while creation of project now, we are giving the version, right? Project version. This is the project version. Okay, good. Jar is generated. Guys, once the jar is generated, you do one thing. Go to the workspace folder, guys. Uh, there is workspace, tell me. In the local disk D, uh, you create the workspace is what? YouTube example, right? That's what this is YouTube example. Guys, in YouTube example, this is the workspace, right? In this workspace, this is the project. Spring Boot MVC example one. Guys, in this project, just open this project. Can we see the target folder? Yes. Can we see the target folder? Yeah. Open this target folder. There we can see the jar file. This is the jar file. This is our project jar, guys. Guys, can you see the jar symbol, right? Yeah. Spring Boot MVC example one. This is the executable jar file, right? Guys, I want to run this jar file, guys. Guys, once the project jar is generated, you can close your ID. No, not required for us. Guys, ID completely closed. Guys, ID is what? Completely closed, right? Guys, tell me your ID is closed or not closed? ID is completely closed. Guys, maybe you are thinking that ID ID Tomcat is running. But ID is opened or closed? Tell me your ID is opened or closed. ID is closed, right? Yeah, ID is closed now. No, no, so the, see, ID is not available. Only some material point is there. Target folder is there. Edit plus is there, right? Exactly. Because I want to run this jar file. To run this jar file, Open the command prompt from here itself. To open the command prompt from here itself, open the CMD. Click on enter. Guys, just in address bar, this is address bar, right? In address bar, just you can type the CMD, click on enter. Once if you click on enter, now see, local disk D, YouTube example, this is a workspace location. In this workspace location, this is called project, right? In this project, this is a target folder. Guys, you got the point, right? Guys, now what we need to do? We need to run this jar file. To run the jar file, guys, a Java iPhone, a jar, guys, Java iPhone what? 
Java if and jar and you give this uh, jar file name guys guys you don't write the name just you can copy this jar file uh, this is the name I copied copy the jar file uh, come to the file and just you can place the jar file extension is dot jar right guys extension is what jar java iphone jar guys java iphone jar this is a jar file name dot jar right exactly guys see my sts is running or not running sts is completely closed right exactly guys if you click on start then what happened guys spring boot started again I think this is a spring boot right this is a spring symbol this is a spring boot see guys application started or not started application example one right started exam started boot mvc example one 2.95 seconds see guys the port number previously we changed right double nine double nine because default port number is 8080 right guys project is running or not hmm? this is the way how to build the jar file how to create the jar file and how to run the jar file from the command prompt guys Next classes, I'll create the var file. Because real time, definitely we need to create the jar files, build the jar files, and we need to run the jar files, right? This is the way of running the jar file. Guys, your project is started. Because once the project is started, open the browser. In the browser, just you can type the URL, right? <clears throat> Tell me what the URL here. Localhost test, you can type. But directory is zero, na double line, double line, Localhost colon double line, double line test. See, guys. Good morning, Ratan sir. Uh, like comment and what subscribe guys what is the second url tell me here the second url is the i think info right just you can try with info see guys uh, hi how students uh, maybe hi here right? maybe guys students how are you welcome to our classes guys the project is running from what command prompt see guys actually maybe you are thinking that from the client to request directly going to the controller but directly the request is not going to the controller guys see see this console once started spring boot application in the 2.9 seconds actually after that i sent the two uh, i sent the request right when you send the request ma this lines are exit this line is are coming guys when when i started first time na, when i started uh, this uh, this application you got the message up to this one right but these are messages are coming what when you send the first request or not when we send the first request guys initializing the spring dispatcher servlet actually dispatcher servlet is a front controller yeah. dispatcher servlet is a front controller initializing the spring dispatcher servlet dispatcher servlet initializing the servlet dispatcher servlet completed initialization 2 milliseconds right like this so every request is going through the dispatcher servlet yeah. this is the dispatcher servlet right because dispatcher servlet is a front controller most of the guys, uh, they are teaching the classes without dispatcher servlet. I don't know what the reason for that. Directly controller request is going. Okay, Directly how the controller will take the request. If the directly control is taking the request, why the here dispatcher servlet is coming? So if you take any like, you know, MVC architecture diagram, you will get the front controller is what? Dispatcher servlet. The request is going through dispatcher servlet. The response is coming from dispatcher servlet. Dispatcher servlet will act as the front controller. In the next video, I will go for this diagram explanation, guys. What is a front controller? What is a controller? What is a service layer, repository layer, view layer? What type of views are available? How the application contains multiple controllers? How the flow of execution is done? This is all the points in the next class we will see. But today class, we got the clarity about... Uh, Tell me guys how to create the jar file and how to run the jar file, right? Exactly. Is it clear? Yeah, this is the syntax for the jar, guys. Uh, Java iPhone jar Spring Boot MVC example one. Clear? Very small thing, guys, but when you do this kind of you no know, uh, points now, you will get the more confidence, right? Yeah, guys, who done the execution? Please comment uh, like the comment uh, you done the execution, right? Jar is executing. If it is not executing, you please write the what error you faced. I'll check once and I'll reply. Clear, right? Yeah. So who are completed practicals? Please every video say the message that I done the practicals working fine. Thank you, sir. And like the video, comment the video, subscribe to our channel to get the more video, guys.